Hello everyone. I am excited to announce that I am starting a new YouTube playlist focused on Playwright with TypeScript. I have dedicated over 4 months to deeply understanding Playwright and feel confident in sharing my knowledge with others. Test automation is evolving rapidly with new tools emerging frequently. While many tools have made a strong entrance, they often fade away. New tools often seem like they are just trying to address the shortcomings of Selenium WebDriver. For example, after Selenium WebDriver, I was impressed by Protractor, but it eventually fell out of favor. Despite being familiar with various automation tools, I have primarily encountered and used Selenium WebDriver in most of my projects. Tools like WebDriver IO, Cypress, and Nightwatch also gained traction. However, when I first heard about Playwright, I was not immediately interested to learn it. But after about two years of hearing about Playwright, I realized it had something special that could make it stand out. That's when I decided to commit four months to learn it thoroughly. I have since created at least six projects and now I am ready to share what I have learned with all of you. So let's start. What is Playwright? So Playwright is an open source automation library for end-to-end -end testing for modern web applications. It was developed by Microsoft and launched on 31st January 2020. Let's see some features provided by Playwright. It says any browser, any platform, one API. So Playwright supports majorly four browsers, Chrome, Firefox, Edge, and Safari. It says that Playwright supports all modern rendering engines, including Chromium, WebKit, and Firefox. So whatever browser we use, there will be some underlying rendering engine. Like if we use Chrome or Edge, these two browsers are developed using Chromium. So Chromium is an open source project that provides the underlying engine and components necessary for rendering web pages. Opera and Brave. These two browsers are also developed using Chromium. Let me give you some overview of rendering engine also. When we create any website using HTML, CSS or any front-end technology and when we try to open that website in any browser, so we see something user friendly UI. So the main task of browser is to render your HTML pages into a proper view in a browser. That happens because of some rendering engine. So all the browsers will have some rendering engine which will help them to render web pages. Similarly, we have another rendering engine called WebKit. Majorly Safari browsers is developed using WebKit. Earlier we had BlackBerry browser which was used in BlackBerry phones that was also developed using WebKit. Another example I can give of browser Midori which is developed using WebKit. For the Firefox, underlying engine is called Geeko. You must have heard of Geeko driver in Selenium WebDriver which acts as a bridge between your Selenium scripts and Firefox browser. So using this Geeko rendering engine, Firefox is major browser which is developed and another examples I can give of CMonkey and KMelon. Playwright supports all the major platforms like Windows, Linux and Mac OS. You can run test locally or on a CI tool. You can run in the headless mode or headed. Headless means it will not show the actual browser running. It will run in the background. It supports major languages like TypeScript, JavaScript, Python, .NET and Java. So if you want to test any website in a mobile browser, you can use Playwright. And here they mention one API. What does it mean? It means they have methods which will work across browsers and platforms. Based on platform and browser, method will not change. It is resilient and no flaky test. This is the major feature of Playwright, I think. It says Playwright waits for element to be actionable prior to performing actions. For example, if you want to click on a web element, so it is going to check if the element is visible and it is clickable. It also has a rich set of introspection events. The combination of two eliminates the need for artificial timeouts. So introspection events are related to page, network or web element and they perform all these events just to ensure element is ready to take actions. Playwright assertions are created specifically for dynamic wave. 
checks are automatically retried until the necessary conditions are met. Obviously, we can customize that timeout, but this is by default available in Playwright, which is a good thing. So it is going to capture screenshots automatically. It will capture the video also. And major thing, we can get the execution trace, which is really helpful while debugging the failed test cases. Now it says that browsers run web content belonging to different origins in different processes. What do you mean by different origins? Suppose for Amazon.com, when you try to create an account on Amazon.com, then you might be using some user management domain. But when you try to search for a product, then you might be using some different origin like products. And when you try to check out, then you might be using some payment origin. So here we have multiple different origins within application and a browser runs these different origins in different processes. And Playwright is aligned with the modern browser architecture and runs test auto process. That means it is going to do the same thing which happens in a real browser. Playwright provides trusted events. Playwright uses real browser input pipeline which is nothing different from real user. And Playwright selectors pierce shadow DOM and allow entering frames seamlessly. This is again a very good feature of Playwright that for the shadow DOM you don't need to do anything extra. And uh, I think why they have mentioned here that it allows entering frames seamlessly because in Cypress I think we don't have a proper way to switch to a frame. But in Playwright we have full isolation, fast execution. Playwright creates a browser context for each test. Browser context is equivalent to a brand new browser profile. This delivers full test isolation with zero overhead. Creating a new browser context only takes a handful of milliseconds. So browser context is isolated environment within a single browser instance. Each browser context operates independently with its own separate session, cookie, local storage and data. Now it says save the authentication state of the context and reuse it in all the tests. This is again a very good feature. Playwright also provides multiple tools which are very useful like code generator. You must have heard about QTP and Selenium IDE where you can record the actions and it will generate the code for you which we can run. Similarly, Playwright also provides a tool called CodeGen and you can record the action. You can do actually a lot of things much better than other tools and you can get the code in any supported programming language which you can modify and run if needed. It also provides another tool called Playwright Inspector which will help to inspect pages and generating locators. In the major tool, it provides Trace Viewer which captures all the information to investigate the test failure. Playwright Trace contains test execution skin cast, live DOM snapshots, action explorer, test source and many more. So obviously you might not be getting all the points now because we are just starting about Playwright. But in the upcoming videos, you can see a lot of good features provided by Playwright. So that's all about introduction to Playwright. There are many in-depth videos are coming in this playlist. If you like my videos, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you everyone.